Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. Hope you're well. And um, just want to wish you a wonderful evening, wonderful afternoon. Uh, today, the 4th of April. Can you imagine? The 4th of April. Uh, exclusively tonight on Instagram. <laughs> I've not done that for a while. Exclusive on Instagram. You know, believe it or not. Hi, Miss Cooper. How are you doing? Boom. You know, no Facebook, no YouTube, Instagram tonight. Um, uh, we're past those days of the uh, the word that we won't talk about. I just want to check, Miss Cooper. Can you hear me very clearly? Let me know if you can hear me very clearly. Um, that'd be great. You know, tonight the, the, the topic is I, I I created this show as a as a last minute, yeah. Yeah, as a last minute, uh, in regards to the Grammy, regarding to the Grammy. Thank you very much, loud and clear. And the music in the background, is that overpowering or that is just perfect as well? Let me know if that's perfect, you know? And uh, let me just do something here. I don't know how the, how the evening is going to turn out, but I know it's going to be turning out very well. Yeah, very well. Um, very well. Reggae culture and the Grammy. Reggae culture and the Grammy. You know, you know. A lot of people have been, you know, this morning um, woke up, and it's just a bit like the 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 slap. You know, you know that slap. You know, there's a slap that um, Will Smith did with Chris Rock. There's a slap in the face. And in the reggae culture, in the Grammy, it seemed like there was another slap in the face, but a different way. Because people are up in arms about who won the Grammy for the reggae category. Who won the Grammy for the reggae category? Now, that is, that is very interesting. Who won the Grammy for the reggae? Fitz Star General, are you riding your bicycle? Let me see. Lester Star, how are you doing? Fitzy, I need you to come in. You, know? you, can, you can ride your bicycle and come in. You know what I mean? I'm mean, on the show. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm trying to say, you know, you know. So people are actually saying, "Who won this?" You know, what is it that they're talking about? You know, what I'm trying to say. So I off the cuff. Not normally what I, I normally do. Uh, my weekdays are so very, very crucial. I start my shows normally from um, uh, thir Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But uh, when you have man like Lester Gale, these guys here, you know what I mean? Anything can happen. So, you know, what can I say? I'm just, I'm just in the hands of these guys. I'm, I'm in the hands of Jamaica. I, I, I'm, I'm not bro God, but I'm in the hands of Jamaica. <laughs> Lester, how are you doing, sir? Blessings. I'm, 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 I'm happy. You're happy? Yes. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you're happy. This, this seemed like, this seemed like, regular territory isn't it this instagram thing now we can see people yes. coming in before you know let, let me play the music let's go talk and sip talk and sip <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking what are you drinking <laughs> can you hold on just give me a second just yeah a second. Hold on. I, I, yes, I. <laughs> see guys it this is like regular territory where we used to do our talk and sip on a side hey conscious quarantine yes dara shelley you know, I just listen, guys. No, it's, 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 cur it's curious. That's Annette. That's curious um, currency. Yeah, yeah, that's Annette, isn't it? Yeah, curious currency. That's Annette, yeah. That's Annette. yeah, I know yeah, that. That's Annette. Yeah, of course. Come on, man. Uh, my memory is not short. Like, and it was there on Saturday night. Don't talk about it. Big up Vita. Big up Vita. Vita. Well, she, we, got, we, don't want, we don't want to bring in Vita because she might be drinking crown still. And I'm trying to say, don't want to get her caught. Uh, on a Monday? Well, you know, when the music play now, anything may happen, you know what I mean? You know? <laughs> what are you drinking? So let's 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 do a little cheers, mate. I'm just drinking water tonight, you know. No, I I am drink, drinking the last of my Hugo. Oh Hugo, okay, Hugo, Hugo, yeah. Well it, today's my, my day um out in the working. I, I go out today um and jump on a train and jump on a tram and park up and stuff yeah. like that, you know? 
Um, so that's why I'm still in my clothes and stuff like that. So I said, let me just do this thing before I close down. Yeah. Well, let's start. Thank you. Uh, Rachel said she, she do not want to come. I and I told you want to come. Well, guys, you know, people are free to let us know when you want to come. But let's listen. Um, the only reason why we did a show tonight and I called you is because a lot of people have been talking about the the Grammy. Just like how you had a slap in the face with Will Smith. But in this mm -hmm. case, mm -hmm. it's like Jamaicans are saying it's a slap in the face in an indirect sense in that the, the reggae category wasn't won by what we expect. You know, it, it's like a change. It's like the, the hijacking of the reggae music, the, the, the teething, the, um, mm -hmm. the cultural appropriation. You know, and when the Prime Minister actually um, said, congratulations to Spice, to Itana, congratulations to um, Sean Paul or whosoever, he said, congratulations as well to the, the persons who won, Soldier Boy or whatever. Soldier, Soldier. No, 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 not Soldier Boy. So, Soldier Boy is a rapper. It's okay. Soldier. It's, a, it's a, two different entities. Okay, okay. So, and then people started to cuss off the prime minister. Said, okay, you do that. You know what I'm trying to say? But go, go for it, let's say. You know what I mean? What, what's, what happened? It's, um, yeah. First of all, thank you for having me. Um, no, thank you for having me. It's, it's your idea. We, 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 we <laughs> seem like we're perpetually online together. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the issue is mm. knowledge. Information. Yeah. That's the issue. We're in the information age, and it seems that as if people are less informed than any other time in history. Yes. Yeah. Um, the the Grammys is a United States based in um entity. We have yeah. to we have to acknowledge that first of all, right? Mm -hmm. So if you don't have um recognition in the United States in terms of sales popularity charts whatever right you won't be recognized you have to yes. understand that because you can have a big selling album in europe and the grammy won't even look at you because you did not do any work or any recognition inside the united states so, mm. so that's the first thing you have to understand right now grammy is the highest honor or highest award in music regardless of the country you are is the <coughs> highest award Right? Yes. Now, people need to understand the process of the Grammys, what it takes to get a nomination. Yes. Now, it is, it is very disingenuous of Jamaicans to be saying culture vulture or culture uh, misappropriation or culture, yeah. um, pe people are trying to steal our culture. Now, what I have to say about that is don't we have Jamaicans who sing over since the 1940s or 50s American songs and British songs? Yes. Which were a huge hit in Jamaica. And we didn't hear these other cultures saying that we are stealing from their culture. Mm. You know? So I'm saying that it is music. Music is a global language. Right? Now, with the reggae process, Jamaicans have to learn how it takes to get nominated. Now, it is a voting process. A lot of people don't know that. So you have to be a member of the Grammy Academy. So you pay an annual due, I think it's a hundred US dollars, I think. The last time I think it was a hundred US dollars annually. Now, your entertainers, your singers, your musicians, your managers, your booking agents, publicists, anybody who is, who is actively involved in the entertainment industry, can register, can apply and register and be a part of the Grammy Academy. So you have a voting right. Mm. Now, if you don't have that in your industry, if you don't, if your industry don't see, industry players don't see to it that they encourage the, 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 their colleagues, their people. Mm. their people, to be a registered active member of the Grammy um, Academy, then other, other members who are Outside of, outside of your culture, but they do reggae, right? They will organize, they are organized, they will have more voting power than you. Now, let's just take the Marlies. Because remember, the Marlies weren't nominated this year, yeah. right? Mm. The Marlies, just, just themselves alone, it's a lot of them. 
they all, even the ones who are not involved in music per se, they all have um, Grammy accreditation in terms of voting. Yes. Right? So the nieces can vote, the grandchildren can vote, all of these people can vote. So they, they have bargaining power. So it's campaigning. So I would go to, like say for instance, Soldier Boy or NBA Young Boy, or I'd go to somebody else as a, as, as a moral and say, look here, my family alone can give you 15 votes, right? So I want some of your votes. So they also vote on, on, on the category. So that's how the Marley's consistently win awards. So it's not like because they, they, this Marley, no, it's structure, it's organization. So it's nothing to so do with, it. Um, it doesn't to do with the slackness of music or whatever like that, as people sometimes are no, to, no. to say, you know, no. a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of people are saying that we have lost our way because our music is not rich in culture anymore. That, it's nothing to do with that. You have heard Some that argument. Says, you, have heard that. you have heard that. Yes, yes. And, and, and I spent the last 24 hours trying to explain to people um, how the process goes. Because if it was slackness, why wouldn't, why, why would the Grammy then, can remember, they don't have one criteria for reggae and one criteria for hip hop. Yeah. Right? It's criteria goes to all the categories. And we have some of the most vile songs in hip hop. Winning Grammy nominate, we have Grammy nominations and winning Grammys. It has nothing to do with the content. It has mm. to do with the organization, it has to do with the structure, it has to do with who has the most votes. Right? Now, a lot of people are saying that, you know, um, it is sales or this or that. No. Shaggy had an album that sold in excess of 12 million copies. He didn't win the Grammy that year for Hot Shots. Mm. He, didn't win the, he didn't win the Grammy, you know? 2001, Sean Paul had um, his debut album and he sold over like two to 300,000 copies. But Beanie Man won that year with Art and Life because Beanie Man was signed to Virgin. And they Sean pull out their to VP and they pull out, the, they have their power, you know? So we have to also look at that. Now, this group, Soja, is from Virginia, but they, mm -hmm. they, they are based in, uh, on the West Coast. Now, the West Coast in America, that's where all the reggae is. The, the, that's the biggest um, um, reggae festival um, scene there. So just imagine how Soja is on a campaign with the other reggae bands who are not nominated, mm -hmm. right? And they are campaigning amongst their peers to vote for them. So we have to understand the industry that we're in. We have to understand how do we get nominated. If we don't like what Grammys are doing, what we need to do is create our own music awards for reggae. Because we should not be waiting on an American Music Award to ratify to us. us to exactly. We should not be waiting on that. Mm. Why isn't other countries that do reggae? Because Spain do reggae, France do reggae, in England does, does reggae, Japan does reggae, Africa does reggae. Why isn't Jamaica the epicenter of the biggest reggae award show so that these people can come to Jamaica and we give out the best reggae album or best reggae artist for the year that is where our effort should be going yeah. to. it is interesting what you say right there because i listened to the acceptance speech by the group that won and one of the things they said they said big up to jamaica you guys inspired us and really and truly what you said right there now is is a cue that culture ministry or whatever should really do now is to create this reggae authentic award thing whereby when it's only when they come to Jamaica and get that award, boom, that is where you have reached somewhere else. You know, you, you got the Grammy, which can do everything, but in mm -hmm. order for you, just like Blue Mountain Coffee, that's the, that's the epic center of the best coffee. And, and I, yeah. why have we missed that? Why have we missed that? Have we missed that boat or what? Our people have been messing around, different successive governments, cultural ministries, what, what? I'm sure it's not something new. Um, no, 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 no. And this is something I was speaking to with a friend of mine who is high up in the Ministry of um, um, Culture today. And it's somebody yeah. I've known for over like maybe almost 20 years now. Won't call his name because he doesn't like to be mm. 
the government position, you have to be careful. But it is something that he has fought yes. for. It is something that, personally, I spoke to the minister about that in 2008, um, um, during the independence celebration. Um, um, I spoke to her personally about that. Um, many industry players have spoke to her about that. But guess what? Just like the American music industry, it is private sector driven. Yes. Right? And what is hampering our movement is investment. We have to invest in our own product. Now, when I say that, entertainers or practitioners of the, of the, of the music must invest in the, in the industry and organize the industry. But when you look at any successful industry, it is businessmen and women mm. who really have nothing to do with the skill level of the industry that are the biggest investors because they are looking, looking at it as a business. Now, why reggae is still an underground music is because Jamaica's corporate society do not understand what publishing is. Mm. That is it. Once they understand what publishing is, we will see reggae slash dancehall come to the top, top of the world in every category. Is it? Is it so? So therefore, what are we saying then, uh, Lester? It has nothing to do directly with the artist them. It's all structure of the industry. Structure. Structure. And, and, and therefore, the, and, and where is this led by? This should be led for, I mean, we, I think we keep talking about this a lot, about the, the, the reggae music. Many people have been talking about it for a long time. Uh, people have been talking about Missing the Way. They've been talking about Spice. They've been talking about the type of music, how the lyrics are going on. Um, and there's lots of going around, going around. But it seemed like the cultural aspect and the industry need to be... Um, uh, what should I say? Regulated in a very structured way, not control, but regulate. Is it regulate? I, I don't know. What's the right word? There? Yes, yes. It's uh, okay. For instance, yeah. Jamaica Constitution does not recognize entertainment as a job. So but, but, but why the constitution? Why the constitution have to recognize reggae music? I guess you don't no, like when I okay, stop it from okay. talking. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let, let, let me give an example of something. Yeah. If Beanie Man or Shaggy or whoever wants to go to a bank to get a loan, yes. he can't get a loan under the title of an entertainer. It has to be a businessman. He can't go to the insurance company and insure his car or his business as an entertainer. It has to be a businessman because the constitution does not recognize um, an entertainer as a full-time job. It's a hobby. So these are some of the things that we have to, um, the, the people in the industry have to be serious about their craft, have to be serious about their, their, their industry. You have producers, producers for 10 years mm. who don't have a registered record label. They don't have publishing. They don't know what publishing is. They are not signed to any international or local publishing company. Now, you can't have a producer who is producing music for some of the biggest names in reggae. And they are not registered. Even just a formal registration in terms of a company or a label. They don't have that. Mm. So, and then we have many persons like that in the, in, in the industry. So our industry is very very unregulated and we cannot cry foul if an entity outside of reggae comes in right and create a structure and create a business model right now one one key thing i went to belgium to a particular festival yeah. the festival is one of our most famous curse words the name of the festival is one of our famous curse words. Well, they have a beer. 
let me see. There, there are different levels to the curse words, and then some of them are in percentage. <laughs> Someone said it to me recently. Um, I said it to you, sir. <laughs> I didn't want to incriminate you, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no problem. Right, because what the they said the, is that... The, the Vita put it up there. The Vita put it up there. Oh, the, yeah. Can it's real life, but... Oh, right. now, they've shut, now they've yes. shut you down. They've shut down your backside. Yeah, so, 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 Vita, yes. That, and it's a very big festival. They yes. have a beer also by that name. Mm. Now, I'm saying, if some, if some Belgian white people can see this... Sorry, big up Nikki, big up Kizzy. If some Hi, Belgian Nikki. people... Yeah. Can um can see this, and and see profit, see an industry, see corporation. Why are we then seeing this word as a negative or a bad word, but somebody else is profiting in the millions? So this mm. is the problem we have. This is the it, problem it, we have. So 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 therefore, so so what is happening now is a situation whereby. We are, we are scrutinizing and we are questioning our culture and our, what we have in our hands. And other people are not scrutinizing it or, or testing no. it. Or they are just no. running with it all the way to the bank while we are being it tight or something like that. Have you ever been to a, a, a reggae festival in Europe? Uh, no, no, no. You, you have not been to um, Nottingham Festival? Are you trying to embarrass me? No, I haven't been there. No, no, I, I, I don't know. I don't, remember. <laughs> no, I'm, no I, I'm genuinely asking. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm not. Yes. Yeah. I went to Germany to um, Jam Rock Festival. Mm. And I was totally taken aback by the support and love for Jamaica's culture. Not just the music, but the Jamaica's culture. Mm. When you see thousands so when when we're talking about reggae some fest or sting that yes. has thirty thousand people yeah that is a joke that is a joke silburn you have mm. thirty thousand people are intense and yes. i'm not talking even the the, the the main festival here i'm talking about yes. tents thirty thousand people just intense alone so you have people travel from all over europe all over the world and stay in tents to listen to reggae music while we are putting sanctions on reggae music in Jamaica. That and the means bad that something is, and the bad word and whatever, something is definitely wrong. Definitely wrong with how we see reggae. So when we have Japan Splash, that is bigger than some splash, right? When we have Rotatam Festival, when we have these big festivals, that are massive. Gentleman, one of the biggest reggae artists out of Germany, when he's doing his festivals, 850,000 people. 850,000 people. So it is, it is a, a remarkable thing that these people mm. see a business in it. I'm eating jerk chicken in Germany. From a German, barely speaking English. Yeah, Nika just said. Nika, Nika just said. When you travel, you get a different look on how Jamaica is loved and appreciate. But Jamaicans, Jamaica don't see that um, as, as well. And that, that that is very true. Um, you know, we tend not to. And that's why I coined the the title, reggae culture and the Grammy, because the reggae and the culture entwine, and that the outcome is is the Grammy. Uh, the, the when you mentioned about these big festivals now. Um, Rotterdam or whatever. Who are the headline acts? Do they get artists from Jamaica or are these those people from those areas? More and more these big festivals are having their own headline acts. Wow. So what, what Japan did, what Japan did for years, they came to Jamaica and they studied. Mm. So when we are seeing Japanese come over, oh, Japanese, Japanese! Um, you know, and we're dancing with them and laughing with them. They're there studying. The Japanese, and I've seen this from the 80s, where the Japanese come to the reggae, the reggae um, the, the record stores, and they buy up the, rec the records. They buy yes. up all the records. And they go back to Japan, and they study the records. 
They study yeah. the formation of the music. They study the beat. They study everything. Japan, a lot of people don't know this. Japan has their own bounty killer. Yes. Their own shaggy. Their own beanie man. They have their own vibes cartel. They mm -hmm. have their own elephant man. And, and when I tell you their own, you see these Japanese people, and when you see their mannerism, you can know that that's a beanie man or that's an elephant really? man. Really? They st and you have when Japan Splash is being held, a Jamaican artist is now a special invited guest. Well, I tell you, I tell you what, I, 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 I've invited Itana. I don't know if she's going to come on or not, but I'm on her page and something she said, that's why I responded to her today. And, and ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining. And um, I would appreciate it very much if you share this show as much as possible. Just share the video. She said, my, re my representative a while back asked Soja to have me open for them and they allowed it with no problems. Without them, I probably would have never played in those venues in those nights at the time. I work with other groups and you would not believe the animosity. There was none with Soldier. Jacob is peaceful, so but I understand why everyone is mad. Jamaica show support by the album, stream the show, show, you know. Um, what what do you say about what, what she said right there? Because it seemed like the the other groups are open or or, or to bring in that authentic no, well, Jamaica. Um what what Etana is essentially saying is that these other reggae groups who are non-Jamaican, they are not they are not ingrained with the Jamaican bad behavior DNA. And regardless of how that sounds, that's true. Uh, you don't hear the you don't hear the reports coming from the promoters of these non-Jamaican reggae artists showing up late. Showing up junk, not showing at all, taking mm. money, trashing the rooms. You don't you don't hear these comments. But when right. you go to Australia, when you go to New Zealand, when you go to Madagascar, you go to some places and they tell you that, listen, it is because you were a part of a, 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 a tour that they allowed you to come on the show. If you were a single artist, if they were booking you as a single regular artist. They would not book you. They, I, I've, I've heard these things, mm. right? Look at Jack Ewer. He has a discrepancy with his payment. What did Jack Ewer resort to? Marshall, please. He stabbed the promoter. Mm. No, no, you have a legal, a legal strong case here. <coughs> you have a yes. contract. The promoter did not pay you. And you, the only thing you can resort to is stabbing the promoter. It, mm. it, it, so these are some of the things that makes us look like barbarians. And then other businessmen, because the promoters are businessmen, would say, we don't want to do any work with Jamaican artists. So, so we have to understand that it's not just the music. We have to change how we present ourselves. Now, mm. I hear somebody on Facebook today wrote that it's because Sean Paul and Shaggy is brown. Mm. Shabba Ranks wasn't brown. Patra wasn't brown. Matt Cabra wasn't brown. Richie Stevie is not brown. And I can go on and on and on and on and on. Right? Damien Marley, uh, not Damien, um, Stephen Marley and I were talking in 2002 by Tough Gang Studios. And Stephen said to me, not because my name Marley, that means that the people that are going to love me. Mm. He said, because the product when I push out is good. Mm. Him say, you could have named Marley 10 times. If you are sing foolishness, them now going to bite, them now going to come on your show. You have to sing quality. You have to show up for interviews on time. You show up for sound, sound check rehearsals on time. You're professional. Mm. This is what Shaggy and Sean Paul brings to the fore. This so, is so, therefore, so, so therefore, there are two different levels then. You've you got the level whereby in order to win the Grammy, there's a structure, there's a principle, and there's a system towards it, right? Yes. There's a system towards it. Um, putting aside the Grammy aside, as someone said, Spice won already just by turning up. Um, it is that this, the structure and the culture and the, 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 um, the mannerism has got to change in order to take us to the next level. 
because yeah. it, because is it the according to what you're saying at the same time it is not just the music because many people are saying it's the lyrics it is how nasty the lyrics is or blah 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 that has nothing to do with it right it's look at arkin arkin is some of the nastiest songs mm. <laughs> as i said the grammy catch it the grammy right they don't they don't um they're not prejudiced against one category to another yes right so the content of your songs doesn't matter to them right now you know what i want to say to people and i wish itana was here also really wish she was yeah. here soldier their album was the only 100 percent pure reggae album yeah. grams morgan album had on heavy a heavy influence of country music spice album had flavors of reggae dancehall pop hip-hop it, it wasn't that true so we have to understand what we're presenting also we've got to be authentic you know we need to be authentic, be authentic. yeah so if, if you're going to talk about the product then right mm. because you cannot look at soldiers album and say it was not well produced you cannot look at soldiers album and say that's not reggae no they stayed true to the authentic reggae of oh, reggae so you, you don't have to like soldier you, know? you don't have to like them but you cannot tell a lie to say they did not produce an authentic reggae album unfortunately i've not listened to it and i listened to the album today or listened to some bit of it if you close your eyes and listen to it let's say would you know it is not jamaican or overseas guys or no. whatever no no you won't you won't you know wouldn't. you would wow know. Because sonically, it is beautiful. Yes. Not, not to say that Eternal's album is not good enough. Eternal's yeah. album is, is, is beautiful. Spice album was produced by Shaggy. Right? It is a good album. Sorry. Um, Sean Paul album was a, was a, was a Sean Paul delivered. But we, we have to understand that. Who are we? Who are we selling to? You know, yes. so it, 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 it is important that we understand that. Like, um, like, for instance, Grace Kennedy. Grace Kennedy is a company that produces products, right? Yes. They have brand manager, right? They have sales manager. They have trucks. They have drivers. They have, they have advertisement. They have, they have a structure a around a, a, a corn beef. Right yes. now, we have to understand that we have to treat the music as a product, especially an export product. An export product that means the packaging of our product, the music, has to be authentic, even mm -hmm. if the content is nasty. You know, you know the authenticity yeah. has to be high yeah. level. Yeah, this is a part one version of this because Shams um, wasn't available today and Steve Urchin, who is Sean Paul manager, uh, we spoke, he, he's flying, so he couldn't make it today. Etana may come, Etana may not come. But one thing which I'm picking up here is that, and I'm not too sure, who is the authentic reggae voice out there who knows what they're about and not trying to amalgamate and mix up with everything to try to fit in <laughs> which is where is that who is that authentic reggae yeah, voice that we have from jamaica you, now? you know um from your perspective say, yes bujubanta bujubanta at, at his at the, at the, before his incarceration was the biggest reggae artist in the world and again Bad behaving Jamaican DNA got him into trouble, right? Yes. Not I'm not pronouncing guilt because I don't know if he was if he's guilty or not. Yes. What I'm saying is that he was at this this level. Yes. And he got incarcerated. Mm. He he is out of um, prison. He's a free man now, a few years now. Yes. But is he is he on a sturdy? strong focused musical journey no he's on a political journey yes right yes. Who and, the, are and, the, and, and, do, and do you think that 
some of these top producers and those the powers that be look down and they say, let's steer clear away. This is too mix up. Um, yes, I Bob know. Marley was Bob. Yes. Was, let's, let's let's go back to Bob Marley. Bob Marley had his his way of influencing politics in a way, but he did it through his music in a very strategic way, isn't it? One love, one heart, Buffalo Soldier, you know, go down into Zimbabwe yes, with but, Michael um, Manley and those guys. He was in it. He was but, in epic, but, epicenter. Sorry. Okay, it's 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 it, it, all right. We 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 keep comparing Bob Marley, who was in sixties and seventies, right? We're in two thousands now. Yes, yes. Right. So, but what was happening at the time was the music and the and and the movement was fitting to the time. Yes. We are not living in those times now. So it's a it's a whole different um the whole different social economic or social political feel. Right? Yes. Now, Bob Marley was a manageable artist. Mm -hmm. Listen, I did not say the whale as it. Bob Marley. Because you realize Bob Marley trajectory is way higher than the other two whalers. Mm -hmm. Bob Marley is the least talent talented of the three whalers. Mm -hmm. Least talented. He's, a, he's not the best songwriter. He's not the best performer. He's not the best vocalist. Right? He's not Is the best that? musician. He's not, he, he's not even an average guitar player. Not even an average guitar player. What are you trying to say? Is that he, was palat he was palatable in their hands to maneuver? Bob, Bob Marley is a product. And he behaved yes. like a product. Mm. That's why he's, he reached to that level. He had discipline. Yes. Chris Blackwell, a white man from England, could hold Bob Marley and market Bob Marley, and Bob Marley understood the assignment. Mm. There's, a, there's a difference. The, 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 the attitude towards what you're doing. He understood the business. That's why he created Tough Gun. Mm. That's why Bob created Tough Gun. Bob laid out, well, the way of created Tough Gun, they laid out the blueprint yes. for what every single entertainer should do. And the entertainers have not been doing that. All you have to do is follow what Bob Marley do, tweak it to the time that you're in, and you'll be successful. So, so, so therefore, what I'm picking up then is that the principle and the system is not in order. Also, you mentioned Bob Marley was manageable. Is there a lack of effective and good managers? Or is it that the management and the artists have got to come together to work together? Is it what about the management? And what about the art? Let's deal with the management. Because management plays a fundamental role. That's what Bob Marley was a product. Steve yes, Urchin, I've seen how Steve Urchin operate. He has been on my show. He's a good rapport. How we manage um Sean Paul. We have yeah, seen that. Yeah. 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 And you can speak of okay. others. Yes, mm. and, and, and management now is close to my heart because that's what I do, right? Yes. Um, and and that's, why I, that's why I'm not so active now in the music industry as I used to be because a manager is like a coach of a football team, mm. right? So he sees the playing field. Yes. And he directs the, 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 the artist in how to operate what we're yes. going to do what's the job at hand and if you don't have a manager who can see the whole pitch who can see the vision right that's where it goes but guess what when you have players who are not literate to the business of music it breaks mm. down there and when you have managers who don't know the business of music or who want to be a celebrity also Right, because you mentioned Steve Urchin several times. Yes. Many people don't know who Steve Urchin is because he's mm -hmm. not trying to be Sean Paul. He's sticking to what he does as a manager. Now, when you have uh, um, artists who say, "My cousin, I'm a manager," this cousin has never left Trench Town. So you're giving your cousin a, a possibly Fortune 500 company to manage. Mm. 
So what do you think somebody who has never left his community before, what do you think he's going to do? He's going to operate like he's in, like how he always operates within his community. So there are no effective managers in reggae music. Ramesh? Yeah, but Ramesh is not the rule. He, he, he's, he's the exception. Okay. Joe Bogdanovich of Down Sound Record. Uh, and I'm glad, you brought, I'm glad you bring up those names. As I said earlier, we don't have private businessmen investing in music. Ramesh did not start out as a musician or, or producer or manager. He was a businessman. He used to sell yeah. T-shirts. Mm. Right? Um, when you look at Joe Bogdanovich, who now who know, know owns um, Sumfest, yeah. right? And he, he owns... Um, hardware and lumber and, and other places like that, right? He is a businessman before he went into music. We don't, I, just, I don't know if anybody else who is a businessman was invested in music. Why is Michael Lee Chin not a major investor in music? He has a state-of-the-art, fully equipped studio on the yacht that he has. You saying Bolt? Was getting into this area as but, well, but you see, Bolt is 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 doing it for um, his manager NJ NJ, mm. but also they are applying a business structure to it. And I tell you, if you say if if these guys they don't touch anything, that they are not willing to go a hundred percent in. And I'm telling you, you're going to see some great things from you see Bolt's production. Mm. Smart Bristol said some managers are motivated by money and greed. Just um, a comment there. So, so therefore, let's so, so what you're saying then, and um, what we can pick up from this segment of this show, because I'm more than likely we're going to pick this up on Talk and Sip on Saturday night as well, is that Jamaica, in Jamaica here, with the product that we have, this beautiful and powerful product of reggae music, which we are the author, you know what I mean? Off, need to sort of go back to a sort of drawing board and sort of tweak. Not not a tweak is very tweak is a low level. It's like you need to be a, a fundamental overall. And and the question I'm going to ask you now because you mentioned the Bob Marley period, that time and that type of music and the way he moved with the political dimension at that time was fitting. So what is this era that we are in now? What is this era now with the chronics? What is this era now with the Buju what, 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 what is the ideology? Is it that they don't know where to cast their net? Is it that they lack vision and they just love the music? Coffee, coffee, sorry. Coffee yeah. is doing some great stuff. Yeah. All right. Um, you can have fun music. You can mm. have love songs you can have conscious songs you can look at the same society that the reggae slash dancehall artists see and they speak about gun songs or sex or whatever mm. it's the same society it's not, it's not like two or three different societies you know right yeah so as as, as an artist you can speak about the the the, the, the wealth divide in the society right mm -hmm. every country has a wealth divide so so persons in every country can connect to a song which is speaking about the, 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 the divide between the rich and the poor right every country can speak about the the issues that are going on in third world countries that yes, that yes. the bigger first world countries are, are, are putting sanctions on us so there are things that are happening right we can speak about how the corruption in government the lackluster movement to development of, of, of the, the person in the lower social economic um, strata of society. We can speak about the poor education. So these things are universal topics that are there. So when persons say that, oh, it's a society where we see, we see gun and we see this and we see that. The same society have other things too. The same society have things that development is being, is being had. The same society say where we, we, we see improvements in in governance we see we see businesses improving so i'm saying that there's a multiplicity of topics to sing about 
and which which is connecting to the heart just the same feel good just the same you cry just the same you laugh just the same message music just the same right you see, but, you hold see. On, yeah go on uh. oh, hold on i, I want to say mm. something and this is very controversial part what i'm going to say now the a lot of people keep trying to have a distinction between dancehall and reggae right jamaica produces three types of music rocksteady ska and reggae dancehall is where the music is held dancehall is where the music is held now the sub genre or sub section of reggae where that the younger persons younger people in the society started in about 78 79 it is still reggae mm. if you what 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 happened is that they speed up the reggae beat yes and the tempo increased so that's how we have this hard fast pace yeah. if you slow it down and i can give an example welcome to jam rock that rhythm mm. right it is a sly and rabbi rhythm that they they license from taxi that that the, yeah. that the gongs the, the market license and all they did all steven did was speed up the bass line yes yes and it became a hard thumping slash quote-unquote dancehall rhythm but yes. if if it's played at its normal pace it's a roots reggae rhythm yes it's interesting you know, if yeah. love oh, hold on, hold on. if love mm. so nice why does it hurt so bad you remember that song yeah yeah that rhythm is one love one love all he did was speed up the rhythm yeah so this is what so i i, I want to ex, i want to, i want to tell people that it, there's not really a thing called dance hall no what is happening it, it, now it's, it's, a hall, the, the, it's a hall where the music come together it is not a genre really called dance hall. that's why yeah. that's why no international awards are really recognized because the card structures are the same and that's why you know? I, and, and that's why spice when many people think is dance hall is in a reggae category as well it's, it's reggae because jamaica mm. produces reggae music now when when we what we have in now these young crop of entertainers and they're having this thing called trap dance hall it will not sell it won't hit it will not work because you are selling as a jamaican you're selling america to america they already have trap why would you want to sell trap dance hall to them hmm. you don't have to do that i want to i want to bring in the pops the pop said this but every time they you watch them sing about what's going on in society this is alluding to what you said earlier that they can sing on different things the polish politician name intend to block their music and uh and and of recent days you have heard at, at various times that you have also criticizing your own people that you don't like when they sort of demonize reggae music and say it is a cause of violence at the same time so therefore is it that we're out of sync and whereby to, to move forward is it that the politician the ministries need to work collectively with the artists moving them away from just being an entertainer whereby they have no sort of uh, substance and foundation because you're saying that they cannot have any business uh, when when the covid was going on i heard lots of them got hit financially because there's no structure that they have they are playing nice music but when you check it out there's no structure so therefore who is going to bail the cat let's say is it you to get to, Let me to, to create this um, whole thing because we're also going to have more soldier more soldier more soldier coming through you see um one of the one of the thing is we want to we we, we have to understand that we live in a society right mm. so um you have to understand the rules and then and that that's why a team and a manager comes in place right yeah now born to killer I've had several songs that were that was banned, right? Big up Onion. Onion just pop, it, Onion just coming. Yeah, big up, big up, big up, big up Onion. Big up, 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 big
smart Bristol and everybody yes uh -huh. it makes the song even bigger mm. because what will happen is that people are going to research why is this song now uh, being banned so so um look into my eyes by a bounty killer written by dave kelly right was banned pj sent a letter to uh, model studios and the song was banned on free to air radio people yeah. understand that so so the society is not banned in the society but it's banned, banned on radio now what it what what it does it sends a shock wave out into the diaspora so the diaspora is playing the diaspora has picked it up mm -hmm. so this song gets even bigger right now it is for the manager to, to, to foresee and capitalize and say if this yeah. happens this is how we're going to go right yes a lot of managers don't have clout they don't have access so they don't have a dialogue they tend to want to follow the anti-politics and anti-government stance no you are the business representative of the artist the artist can have that stance you have to remain neutral where you are the business representative so you can have dialogue with the political directorate it's yeah. simple right so so he said uh, v pop said that um the politicians banned the songs right look here it's not one song you can sing so you sing 10 more mm. <laughs> it's simple right as I said, great skinny dollars produce one item. They produce a multiplicity of items. So that's all you have to do. Keep producing, keep putting out, keep putting out, keep yeah. putting out. But what you have to do is put out quality content, right? And listen, I did not say clean, because I, for one, don't believe in that you have to tell an artist what to write, what to say. It is the consumer who decides that. Me not go buy that. Me not go listen to that. And, and, then, and then they flop and then they flop the music flop and they realize that they don't exactly do. but i think that an artist should sing and say whatever they feel like but it is the responsibility of the consumer to say this is not for me this is not for me right but what is what, what we see happening is that we see young men skilly bang right yaksta we see joshi we see so many young men right within six seven eight months time are getting millions of views millions of dollars so what will they do they're not going to want to sing country songs or culture songs yeah and their manager can't tell them say hey don't sing that remember if seven months ago i was living in my one bedroom house with my four brothers and sisters now i'm driving a five series bmw how can you say to me that i must stop doing this mm. <clears throat> So, so so we have to understand you know and 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 many of these young men are men from impoverished um communities yes. so it is very difficult to look at somebody who never had money who have money now have power mm. have clout have a voice to tell him not to do that yeah so it's a it's a very it's a very difficult thing yeah okay so therefore in in, in such in landing now for the record and for persons who are at the view that um, Soldier, the company, the, the group that won the Grammy, it, it has nothing to do with um, Jamaica, slap music or whatever like that. You said that there's a principle and there's a structure. Has there anybody ever like, come down to Jamaica in a way and sort of teaching and sort of guiding the artists as to how yes. they should go about this? Yes. And what Christy support Baba. has been? Christy hmm? Baba, she came um, a few years ago. Um, she was on the reggae, um, the, on, the, on the, the Grammy board as a yes. Jamaican, as a reggae representative. She yes. had several workshops in Jamaica in the 90s and even in the early 2000s. She had workshops all over Jamaica. She was going to industry players, big producers, big managers, booking agents, publicists, begging them send your artists send a representative send your company and teaching them how to register what the grammy is all about not just the grammys but the american music award mtv awards what it takes because if your video don't have certain pixel if your video is not shot with a certain camera of certain quality so it's not yeah. just a grammy it's a it's a wider implication of, of how to get into the market 
right? And yeah. she she also was explaining to you that these radio stations go by the advertisement, the advertisers, the sponsors. So if you if they have a particular market, you're some that you're doing about guns and something there. It may popular in Jamaica, but you're pushing it to, to, to be on Hot 107, right? It's not going to play on that radio because it is not in sync with the market. Yes. So nobody's fighting against you. You're just not producing the product for that market. Right? I, well, it's, it's just, it's just, it's just, well, it's just like on YouTube. When you're trying to monetize something, they ask you, is it appropriate? And I say, well, it's not appropriate for my advertisers. You know what I mean? So they're not yeah. going to take it. You, know? you can't monetize it. And and that uh, so so you're yeah. freezing, Lester. So what you're so what you're saying, Lester, is, is that a lot of the music at the same time cannot be monetized, and if they cannot be monetized, they don't want it. <laughs> They're not going to play. Exactly. And, and so what happened is that they they stay in just the Jamaican diaspora, the Caribbean diaspora, within know? that circle. There. And, and and what happens to a lot of artists, you know, they are big in the Jamaican diaspora or the Caribbean diaspora, right? They get bookings for Europe and they go on to Europe and they see a man on the show there, Silver and Sidal, that yeah. they never heard about. But in Jamaica and in New York and Miami, they're about the big team. So they see this man and they say, Oh, the man, the only one who the old ballad man. Then. And when that ballad man opened him up and started singing a song that these artists have never heard before, mm-hmm. and them say, A hundred, two hundred thousand people start singing the song word for word. And they, they are the hot artists, you know. They have to go on after that man. Remember, yeah. they are known in the Jamaican diaspora, the Caribbean diaspora. Europe no know them. So yeah. they perform, they're going to perform behind now a seasoned veteran who just wake up 200,000 people. That's why a lot of them flop because now they, they must say, but uh, who him? Yeah. This happened a lot to artists who think to them art. And next thing, Silver, before we, before we, before we learn, mm. Spice, and I'm sorry to eat on there, Spice, Shensia, all the young entertainers there, they are not selling brand Jamaica. Right? Now, Shensia says that she's moving away from, from the Jamaican um, dancehall industry. Right, and she wants to go into the pop industry. You don't have to move away or stop doing dance all mm. to be a big hit in the pop market because pop is popular music. Right? Sean Paul sings and DJs. But Shensia, if you if or if you take Shensia and Doja Cat or Cardi B, that's all three of them. You don't put any names to them. Just take a picture and put with all three of them in the photo. You would think that Shensia is a hip hop artist. She don't look mm. dancehall. We we usually could identify a dancehall artist by what he or she wears, what she represents, right? Shamaranks had a unique style. Mm. Pinchers had a unique style. Professor Nuts, these men, you know that there's a Jamaican artist that had a swag, but you see Spice in a Gucci. You, you, get, you get what I'm saying? So, so there's, not a, there's not an indigenous look again. That to just, say, just, this just like, is a just, dance of artist. Yeah. Just like how um, one of the Marleys um, created all the outfits for the Jamaican um, Olympic team at the time. Bringing, Similar, that authentic, yeah. Yeah, bringing that authentic stuff there. I, I see where you're coming from. So the whole thing needs to be structurized and and people have to work with it and who don't work with it will be left behind. O'Neill said one of the issues that some Jamaican artists do not know their audience. Um, yes. It is also low album sales for most Jamaican artists. I'm hearing also that Shensia, even though she has so many followers, it is not um, translating into money. It's not translating into album sales, you know what I mean, at the same time. Um, because she's a, she's a Jamaican artist forcing to sing pop or forcing to, mm. to, to be a, a... Okay, look at Rihanna. Rihanna's from Barbados. Yes. The first song that Rihanna came up with was a dance song, it was a reggae song. Yes. And she was, she, she was a hit out the gate. 
Is that part of the whole we have an authentic? Yeah. The yeah. dance song. Mm. How how we have now a Jamaican beauty, beautiful girl. And one of her first major outing is a calypso song. That don't make no sense. And getting sued for it. Yeah. It's because we do not treat reggae music like a business. Um, 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 Anil, um, you said that earlier as well. That's one of the points you yeah. flag up. Uh, v Pop said, "Do not talk crap. Who we'll sing more about guns, talking, ju- taking drugs like the American rapper, and does it play an all radio platform?" Um, I don't know about that. Let's see. You can maybe can answer that because I, I know there are a lot of um, yeah, but but they beat them out. But, they beat out a lot of radio versions. Yeah. But but, but what V-Pops need to understand that this is an American person and they are playing an American song. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. The product is an American product. Yes. You are carrying, no, right? Your product from your country. It does not fit the format of that audience. Yes. Right? So when, when, and, and let, let me tell you how powerful reggae is and, and dance mm-hmm. and artists. There's only two. There's only two mm-hmm. hip hop slash rapper that is willing to go on after a dancer slash reggae artist. In all of hip hop, all them big superstars you see the hip hop, only two rapper or hip-hop artist is willing to perform after any dancehall artist, especially our top-tier artists, mm. right? And that is Buster Rhymes. Jay-Z was in Switzerland with Shaggy. And Jay-Z was to close the show. And Jay-Z begged the promoter and the stage manager. He said, listen, I will not go on after Shaggy. Either you let Shaggy and I close together or let Shaggy close the show. Why and then that? when the promoter came to Shaggy, well, when the promoter came to Shaggy, Shaggy said, well, they have to put an extra hundred thousand dollars because I, I, I'm not built to close the show. So if they're going to close the show, they'll get close show money. And the promoter said, okay, no problem. Because when Shaggy walk out, a pandemonium, mm. it's not normal. Right? Because of how he performs, what he represents, and what reggae represents, what reggae can do. Mm. So it's not, it not, it not normal. Ayakti and Nika, Nika and Ayakti are good friends. When Ayakti and touch certain stage, it's not normal. Mm. When Elephant Man go on, no rapper wants to perform after Elephant Man. No rapper wants to perform after Be The Man. So we have, we have, a, we have a product. We've got a powerful, we we got a powerful, we got a powerful brand. We've got a powerful brand. We don't we have a business brand. structure to it. No business structure. And ladies and yeah. gentlemen, that is the problem, and, and that is how, and whosoever can solve that problem and create a solution, I think the solution has already been discussed over time, let's say, but it is who is going to build the cat, who is going to actually deal with the whole thing. Well, I hope Saturday night, if possible, we can get some producers on like, um, you know, um, you know, Shams and um, also Steve as well. Only it will be great to come yeah. on uh, as well and see if we can take this to another level because a lot of people, based on what I'm reading, seem to be getting it wrong. They're all cussing the slap music and say that's the reason why. But as you're putting out, it's not the slap music, which is the issue, because it wasn't only Spice, it was in the chart, was in the running. It was Itana, and it was, who else again? Sean Paul. Um, uh, Gramps. Gram, yes. Gramps, Gramps Morgan and yes. um, um, Itana. But but let me say this. Let me say this one Mm. thing before we go Mm. about slap music. Yes. Who who is the only Jamaican artist to want a Grammy back to back? Shaba. Shaba ranks. Dot is thinking Shaba as you say. I mean, big thinking. Yeah. I mean, the whole lot of talk about slap. The whole lot of talk about slap music. (laughs) You understand me? Right. Raw as ever and extra and um raw as ever and extra larger, extra naked, something like that. You know what yeah. I'm, so I'm saying Shaba, <laughs> you know what I mean? Ra, right? Patra, Mad Cabra. Yeah. How, how, yeah. how are we going to talk about the content? It is yes. in, all right. If you're putting a Shaba in you know, one of those two albums, right? Extra Naked and Ra as well, yeah. If you're putting in one of those albums, sonically, it is B 
beautiful music. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, let's uh, listen. Thanks for this um, highlight and setting the stage. Um, we're going to follow this up as well and to see how we can solve this problem because everybody is affected by the culture. And the most important thing also is that the culture, preserving our culture. And, um, and as, as I got this some time ago, ladies and gentlemen, let me, let me set it out for you about Jamaican Badwood. I understand that it is in a certain category. And um, the category is as follows. The one which is blood is at 21st is the clot of choice. The clot of choice. Blood, 24%. Bombo, 46%. The P, 6%. Ross, 24%. You know? And they say, the Bombo is for real anger that WBB gives a special force and resonance. The Ross, I'm, I'm, being, I'm being very, you know, English. You know, all purpose favorite, especially for light and humorous moments. The blood, surprise and shock. And the P, minor vexation and self criticism. Ladies and gentlemen, you got a powerful culture. What do you like it or not? Silbert. <laughs> Silbert. Silbert. You, you know what? Put it on my status, you, know? you know what people keep asking me? Yeah. Guess what the number of people, people keep asking me? When you line up all of them in one. <laughs> Right. What is the rating? <laughs> when the cost all, all of them you want. Um, yes. You know, so you're vexing up. You know, vexing up, you're vexing up. And you're looking, are you looking for a rock stone. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and I look for a rock stone. It's, you can't find a rock stone in England and Europe. Sometimes people look for a rock stone and say, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 but honestly speaking, this is our culture. You know what I mean? Whether we like it or not. Um, and we've got to adore it because we keep we keep pushing it aside and everybody it's like as we push it aside somebody grab it it's like when i say i lose weight when i say i lose weight you know a lady said to me silburn don't go looking for it i caught it <laughs> she said they put on weight so the point about it is that when we lose when we kick away our culture other people yeah. absorb it take it on board and go on to the bank and we wonder what going. Silver, Silver, yes. my, my, my co-worker, um, he, he stores my name in his phone at Bob Buckler. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> I, I'm glad that we... Let me shut this show down before we lose it. I need to make sure I preserve this show. You know, because after a while, I'm sure that... After a while, I'm sure that um, Instagram will start to know the Jamaican. You, you'll have some... You're going to have a traitor. There's going to be a traitor Jamaican who work in these who places work, work, it's, 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 yeah. and, and then try to tell the people and say it expletives and mash up the yeah. thing. That's always a thing. It's always yeah. a Jamaican. Even in the home office, they say in the UK sometimes, it's a Jamaican in there can say, now nah, man, a fraud, I'm on the man. Is that... yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, listen. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, and um, and thanks, um, thanks to everybody who joined us. And yes. you know, we appreciate the love and appreciate the support. Yes. And uh, yeah, thank you, Nika. Thank you, everybody. You know, um, peace out, O'Neill. And um, Saturday night again, we we follow up on this more than likely. I always say that we don't know what the topic is going to be on a Saturday night for talk and sip, but um, you know, well, it's not a nine-day wonder. It won't be nine days, so we're cool. Vita and Jody read a butter rider. Um, Saturday night. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Nika, you're <laughs> All right, that's it. On that note, we're gone. <laughs> Mister, right, peace out. Yes. Boom. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.